extra perspective on El Paso's approach to intimate partner violence. New tonight, the El Paso District Attorney's Office is reviving a unit specifically to address domestic violence cases in our community. And this announcement comes during October's Domestic Violence Awareness Month. So I went out and sought grant funding and through a combination of federal grants and state grants, I've been able to cobble together enough grant funding to where I now have funding for a chief, a senior trial attorney, two victim advocates and an investigator. Bill Hicks says the state and federal grants total about $1 million for a domestic violence unit. The district attorney's office has been without this specialized unit since former DA Yvonne Rosales dismantled it in 2021. DA Hicks says he expects to have the unit up and running by December. The unit will include a response team that will visit with the victims within 24 hours of the offense. He anticipates the unit could address about 2,000 cases a year. So we need that specialized handling of those cases and know when is the appropriate time to bring just counseling in and when is the appropriate time to bring criminal prosecution. The grants are each funded for three years, but Hicks hopes to secure funding from the county to make the unit a permanent fixture once again. It needs to be looked at by prosecutors who have specialized training in domestic violence to understand not just the cycle of violence, but to understand the social impact of a domestic violence charge. We are in the middle of an election for the district attorney. Republican Hicks is seeking to keep the seat that Governor Greg Abbott appointed him to fill in December 2022. I asked Hicks's Democratic opponent, former prosecutor James Montoya, about his approach to domestic violence cases. Every year, law enforcement agencies here in El Paso present to the district attorney's office about 30,000 cases for prosecution. Of those 30,000, about 8,000 are family violence related. So I, I looked at the numbers uh, for this year and just for felonies, and the district attorney's office has dismissed more cases, more felony domestic violence cases than people have pled guilty. And so the need to have specialized lawyers working on these cases is, is very high. There is um, you know, I've been saying it the whole campaign, a, a, a tremendous staffing shortage in the DA's office. And I think that's led to, to, to all these dismissals. And I've said all along, domestic violence cases are, are very particularized cases. And while not every domestic violence case needs to be prosecuted, absolutely every domestic violence case needs to be looked at. The Texas Council on Family Violence released a report on October 1st titled Honoring Texas Victims. It details just how big a problem domestic violence is in the state. And based on its parameters, it found in El Paso, there were four murders involving intimate partners last year. The victims were 32-year-old Michelle Morales Nakaza, 56-year-old Deborah Sheeran, 46-year-old Juan Antonio Gonzalez Garcia, and 47-year-old Jose Luis Avalos Reyes. On Sunday, October 27th, the district attorney's office is holding its annual crime victims walk. That five mile walk will start at Escarate Park at 7 a.m. and it's free to register. You can find more details about the cases I mentioned as well as the walk on KVIA.com by clicking on this story. And for more extra depth reporting, you can download the KVIA ABC7 CTV app. You can find it on Roku, Fire TV and Apple TV.